Hey, yo, it's your boy Self Made Films, man. AKA Battle Raps Corner. And don't get put in that bag, nigga. You already know what it is. Autopsy. Yo, make sure y'all follow me on so on uh, all social medias at Self Made Films, films with a Z. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, today we got a cool show, man. Shout out to the Battle Rap Academy out Philly. You know what I mean? They had an event yesterday. If you wasn't there, you missed out. Shout out to Stiz. Shout out Bill Collector. Shout out to everybody that was on that charge. Invited me out, man. Had a good time. I was there from the start of the event to the end of it. And it was a great event. Um, started a little late, but most battle rap events do. But uh, overall, it was a good event. Um, there was some battles that didn't happen. Nobody really cared, talked about that, though, because the battles that did happen was good. You know what I mean? Um, first, you had uh, 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 Lex Banco versus Lady Caution. You know what I mean? Um, I've I seen Lady Caution rap before. You know, she's been getting... Um, her uh, just do, you know what I mean? Her notoriety has been getting up. She's been grinding. Uh, we all know that's Tay Rock's girl. So I'm pretty sure that helped her career as well. You know what I mean? Uh, just uh, being some being around Tay Rock, period. You know what I mean? He's one of the best. And, you, you know, you got to get better at, at your craft if you're, you know what I mean? If you're uh, being around one of the greats, you know what I mean? That's just going to elevate you no matter if he, if, if um, his girlfriend, his boyfriend, his cousin, like they all should, if you around Rock, and, and you know what I mean, and he should be giving you tips and stuff, so your career should be, you should be getting better, and you should be getting better looks just off of the strength, you feel me, so shout out to the whole Cave Gang, shout out to rock shout out Burt Bucks too, that's my mans, and uh, shout out Lady Caution, man, they, um, Lady Caution from Philly, obviously, um, she battled uh, uh, Lex Banco from Asbury Park, now I ain't gonna lie to you, I never seen Lex uh, Banco uh, perform before. This was my first time. So she get on stage, the whole Philly side of the stage. I'm from AC. I'm from, you know, I'm from Jersey. So the whole Philly side of the stage is packed Philly. She get up there by herself, bro. There was nobody over there for her. <laughs> so I'll be like, damn, that's fucked up. So, you know what I mean? I'm like, fuck it. Let me, let me, let me hop on stage to try to fill it out for her a little bit. You know what I mean? So it won't look like she's up there by herself. And then when I got on stage and a couple of other, her girlfriends got on stage. I think her pops got on stage. My man, you know, people started getting on stage. So, you know what I mean? Um, Shout out to her. You know what I mean? You got, you, got it. you got to hold Jersey down, man. She was up there by herself. You feel me? So it is what it is. Um, Like I said, it's my first time seeing her perform. And um, she came out in the first round, man. She was doing her thing. She had some punches. She had cadence. She had... um performance you know what i mean she had the energy she ain't give a fuck it was just her against philly like you know what i mean um she she was throwing shots at tay rock uh tay rock gets in with her for throwing shots so you know tay rock was quiet until lex started throwing shots you know what i mean um when she started throwing shots tay rock got on his bullshit you know what i mean um every line uh uh Lady Caution was saying, it was like, you know, Tay Rock had the ad libs. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yo, I'm like, yo, let the ladies rap, my nigga. Like, damn, like, like, this is my thing, right? And I don't know none of these people personally, you know what I mean? It's all battle rap to me. But this is my thing. You know what I mean? You Tay Rock, you know what I mean? You that nigga in battle rap. Like, you know what I mean? You battling Mook this week. You should have known she was going to throw shots at you, dog. You should expect it. You should be prepared for it. You understand what I'm saying? Um, by you basically talking through the battle, fucked up the battle. In my eyes, like it was, it was, it was sound like Lady Caution had some shit with her. Lexi, Lex Bank, Banco had some shit with her. Like, you know what I mean? So I think by Tay Rock jumping in the battle because she was throwing bars at him, Fucked up the battle, but he should expect that by now. Like it probably happens like every fucking battle. Like even when when one of his uh one of the cave gang members is battling, they throw shots. You get 
shots thrown at you every battle you feel me so you should be prepared for it you know what i mean and you know what i mean you should be able to stand there and you're gonna get on stage you gotta stand there and take it too like you know what i mean just like lady like you know what i mean as if you battling you know what i mean you gotta know what to expect with that that's all i'm saying um i think he took it a little too far with the jumping in and the battle shit um <laughs> my T Rock was like, you, you ain't gonna do nothing, and none of y'all niggas gonna do nothing. And I was like, oh shit, like, hold up. I'm just here to support Jersey. I don't even know her. Like, <laughs> I ain't about to get no brawl over somebody I don't even know. I was just trying to fill out the stage. That shit was hilarious, though. Um, uh, but like I said, the crowd was biased towards Lady Caution. You know, I mean, it's a whole, it's a home game. You gotta expect that too, and. Uh, Benko, she expected that, and she I thought she dealt with the controversy uh, uh, good. I thought she dealt, you know what I mean, with the, the crowd very well, like knowing that her back was against the wall. Um, she had a couple um, uh, stumbles, but it wasn't like no chokes or nothing like that. You know, just you know, you know, word wordplay stumbles, like you know what I mean, like you know, she had to bring it back, or she got through it, like you know what I mean. It wasn't no chokes at all. Um, I think I think Lady Caution choked in the second or third. I know, I remember her stopping, and then everybody was like getting it, telling her to get it back, I think. I, I, I'm not sure what round it was. I'm pretty sure it was the second or third. But, again, I think it was from Tay Rock jumping in and out of it. Like, she had she had to tell Tay Rock, like, Yo, shut the fuck up. Let me rap. I know. Let me rap, though. Like, she literally turned to Tay Rock and said that. Let me rap. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you know, I said what I had to say about that, but... Um, I have to watch the battle back to really see who won. Like I said, I was on stage trying not to uh, get jumped by 300 Philly niggas and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I got to watch it back to see who won. Um, I, I, I would give it to Lex in the building. Like, you know what I mean? Definitely. Um, I remember caution choking in the second or third. I can't remember if it was the second or third. Niggas was smoking in there. Nigga. It was lit. It was like, for real. Like, so... You know what I mean? Um, I'm taking my clothes to the cleaners right now to get the smoke out. It was one of the, it was that atmosphere though. It had that feel. You know what I mean? It was the vibes for real. Like you know what I mean? You had you had everybody. Everybody was in there, man. It was cool, laid back vibe until the battle started and they got a little. I felt the tension. You know what I mean? But it wasn't nothing like that. Like you know what I mean? It was all battle rap. Um, like I said though, uh, I think I gave it to Lex in the building two one. Um, if not the thirty clip for real. Like I think. Lady Caution first round was her best round and the other two rounds was I think she stumbled through one and choked in the other Not sure. I know she choked in one, but I don't want to like you know what I mean until I see it again But I, I gave the battle 2-1 if not 30 clip 2-1 2-1 because you can you could argue that that first round for Lady Caution either way So 2-1 Lexi in that battle, you know, what I mean, um, it was a good battle though besides the, the all the distractions with um Tay Rock and all that um we didn't see Prophet versus Solo. We didn't see Kaboom versus J400. Um, I mean, those was on the card that I'm looking at. Um, I don't know why. Uh, you know, I didn't hear anything about it. But then you had uh, Shotgun Shook versus K Walker. Um, Shotgun Shook uh, got through it. It was a one rounder. Um, Lady Caution and uh, Lex Banco was a uh, three rounder. This one was a, a one rounder. Shotgun uh, uh, Suge and K Walker. Uh, Suge did all right. Again, the crowd bias. We in Philly. Um, Suge had some shit. He had the energy. He started heating up towards the middle to the end of his round. Um, and uh, K Walker, man. This is my first time seeing K Walker in person. Shout out to K Walker. Uh, I like what he does on stage. Like I, like I said, Shotgun Suge did, definitely did his thing. Um, uh, like I said, the crowd was hella biased, but you got to expect that in Philly. Damn, I lost my picture. Hold on. There we go. Um, so, K. Walker, uh, like I said, sure got through his round clean. Um, he got some reaction from the crowd. You know what I mean? As much of reaction as you can expect being in Philly um, for a Philly versus Jersey card. Um, let's see. Uh he did get through his round, like I say, he heated up from the middle on, on to the end, and he got, you know, towards the end, I thought he cut his round a little short, if he had more material, I think the crowd would have kept rocking with him even more and more, because he was building momentum up until he ended his round, so, but he did good, but K. Walker came out, K. Walker had the cadence, the performance, um, he had punches in there, you know, the crowd was rocking with him, you know what I mean, um, and the one rounder, I gotta give this battle to K. Walker, 
uh maybe i gotta see it again to see to really 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 tune in like again we was in the building and you know certain like if you stand in a certain area if you're standing behind a battle rapper you might not hear um some of his punchlines especially if people were reacting to his last punchline and you know so you know how it goes so but in the building i would have to give it to k walker but you know i, I revisit it when they dropped a, a vod this weekend you know what i mean so uh they had um Ines was it looked like Ines was supposed to battle Holmesy, but that didn't happen. So it was Ines versus Chef Trash, a uh, surprise battle. Um, last time I seen Chef Trash, he was shouting me out on stage in Atlanta. So May Films, what's good? That's a nigga I know who traveled to see the event, and he called himself the Battle Rap Corner. And after this body, that's exactly what we gonna need in this bitch. So it was a, a pleasant surprise to see my nigga up in there and shit. Um, um, Ines. Did something that Enes never does. Choked. 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 He was cooking too. Crowd was with him. They was laughing at him. He was entertaining. You know, he, yo, you gotta give it up for Enes, yo. He might have the same flow every battle, but he be having that. He brings the same performance, the same energy. You know what I mean? He be having the bars in there. We was in Philly, so you know what I mean? They brought that extra element to it. Crowd was rocking with him. The crowd, I think the crowd fucked him up, actually, if I remember correctly. He was rocking so hard, the crowd was rocking th so hard, I think the crowd threw him off. Because right when, like, he got his biggest um, reaction from the crowd, that's when he started choking. And he couldn't get through the rest of his round. Um, Chef Trez, man, Chef Trez, you know, one, you gotta give it to Chef Trez. one nothing. it was a one-rounder, you know what I mean? Give, you gotta give the battle to Chef Trez, because... Uh, uh, Chef Trez got through his round, he had performance, he had punches, you know what I mean? Um, and the crowd was still a little biased, but they was fucking with him, like, you know what I mean? So, Chef Trez, man, yo, the GOAT, man, one of the legends, he nest choked yesterday in a surprise battle versus Chef Trez, man. That shit's crazy. Um, like I said, he was rocking, you know what I mean? The crowd was rocking with him, he had the punches, he had the cadence, man. He's bringing that energy every battle, but I think the crowd reaction was so big to eating one of Enes's lines, it fucked him up, you know what I mean? Opened the door for Chef, Chef come out, free, uh, about two or three rebuttals, two of them hit, then got into his round, started cooking, got through it clean. So you gotta give the battle to uh, Chef Trez, but shout out to both of them, man, uh, for putting on a show and getting on that stage. Respect to both of y'all. Um, then we had the uh, we didn't see Old Red and Reed Dollars. Um, they said they was gonna. Uh, I think that one still is uh, going to go down, as far as I heard. But we had Arsenal versus Bill Collective. Now, um, I look at this battle rap shit differently, like as it's unfolding. I'm like thinking of all the storylines. I'm looking in the battle rappers' faces right right before they about to perform it just to see the intensity on their face and wonder what they might be going through right at that second. You know what I mean? So, you know, I stayed on the um I fuck with uh Bill Collector too. You know what I mean? That's my nigga. Um I fuck with him. He's he's one of the most underrated, you know what I mean, entertaining battle rappers there is. Um, you know what I mean? I, I thought he should have got his own show on caffeine personally. Um, he's funny on stage and off stage. Like, you know what I mean? Why wouldn't you give him his own show? I don't know. But anyway, um, so salute to him. And But then, you know, Arsenal from Jersey. So, you know, I had to stand on that side, you know. Um, I don't have a, any relationship with Arsenal or nothing like that. But, you know, he's from Jersey. It is what it is. So Arsenal, um, you know he going to come with that disrespect. You know the tension was in the room. He starts off his rounds by saying something about Bill Collector's kid or baby. Um, but then he switches it to Bill Collector. I was like, oh, my God. Thank God. This nigga's about to start right in this motherfucker. Yo. You know what I mean? He, he said something about whatever happened to her he wished happened to Bill Collector. So, you know what I mean? Arsenal's good at that. He know, like, he know he was in a hostile crowd. So he knew to take it to that, you know what I mean, right to the edge and then spin it. Like, you know what I mean? So that was, I thought that was fire. But Arsenal got through his round. Um, he had a, a stumble in the middle of his round, but he was cooking up until then. Um, the crowd was heckling him. Like, you know what I mean? He would say certain shit. Niggas were like, oh, you ain't making it out of here alive, nigga. Like, <laughs> me as a battle rapper, I, I, that would throw me off. Like, if I, I could imagine, like, you know what I mean? Like, hearing shit like that. You know what I mean? It's a small room. I, you know, every time somebody heard, heard, said something, you know he heard this shit. So he had to stumble in the middle of his round, 
But um, he wind uh, he Arsenal was a pro, yo, and it's it's crazy. Um, the la when when I watch Arsenal rap, he either he every time he battles, he either comes out cooking from the gate, like like when him versus Ofish, we came out cooking from the gate, like you know what I mean. Um, with this one, um, he came out on his Arsenal shit. He started a little slow, and then he starts warming up, and then when he gets on that roll, his work. I think Arsenal was very underrated. Um, as far as like the goats and around and Mount Rushmore goes, he's active. He's been doing this as long as Mook, as long as Lux, like you know what I mean. As long as uh, Hollow the Dons, Arsenal been putting in work. He's still active. He's still getting bodies. You know what I mean. Um, and what he did against Official just proves his greatness. Like you know what I mean. I picked against him. Uh, I thought Official was gonna, you know what I mean, bring more. Pa well, she did bring passion, but I just thought she was gonna win the battle on passion and shit. But um. And Arsenal comes out, he starts warming up, and then when he gets to his stumble, uh, he um, he gets it back, and then he starts warming up again. He finishes strong as hell, so, you know what I mean? Respect to Arsenal getting through that round in that hostile environment. Um, uh, Bill Collector, man. Bill Collector is a character, boy. That dude, that dude is talented. Like, he know, he know where he at. And he used it all to his advantage. Like, and that's what a crafty vet should do. Like he in Philly. They love him in Philly, obviously. He man, when it was when it was his turn, man, he he got he basically was like this on stage. Like, yes, I am God. I'm the God of Philly. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? All the crowd, he was soaking it in, man. That's what the crowd was giving him that energy and he was giving it back to the crowd. Um and he rebuttals everything Arsenal says in the, in the beginning of his round. So um, and the crowd went crazy when he did that. So, like like I said, Bill Collector's that dude, man. He's talented on and off stage. Fucking hilarious. Um, I think Arsenal was going at his girl. He even rebuttaled that when his girl had that interview. She was all mad. Um, like, yeah, Bill. Bill, uh, Bill definitely. I would give it to Bill in the building, obviously. The crowd was going crazy. He was rocking out. Um, towards the end, of, I knew it was the last battle tonight. So, towards the end of his round, I started getting towards the door. So I could, you know, it was one exit. I'm trying to slide up out of there and not be all, you know what I mean, caught up in there like that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get outside, get some fresh air, beat the crowd outside. But from what, everything I heard um, from the two uh, from the two battlers, you have to, in the building, you have to get it, give it to a bill collector. Um, now, when I watch it again and really listen, I don't know. But in the building, definitely bill collector won that battle. Um, but like, I ain't taking nothing away from anybody on the other side, you know what I mean, um, Arsenal or anybody else that I thought might have lost, but, um, you know what I mean, I'm just going off in the building, it might feel differently with the, uh, second time I watch it. Dre Dennis versus Cicero. Um, last time I seen Cicero, he was getting fried by twerk, right, so I wasn't expecting much from, maybe he got a little better, but from what I saw before, I wasn't expecting much from uh, Cicero. Dre Dennis is underrated. Dre Dennis needs plates on bigger leagues. I want to see him on the URL battling people of, from his class and better. Like, you know what I mean? Um, Dre Dennis is putting in work. He's been putting on for Jersey for a minute now. You know what I mean? Um, and he needs he needs bigger looks and bigger plates. He's definitely underrated in my opinion. Um so I, I was expecting, you know, Drake Dennis to cook Cicero. So first round, Drake Dennis is on fire. He's coming out, punching, energy. You know what I mean? He got Floss the boss with him. So fuck the crowd. Floss the boss is the crowd. Like, you know what I mean? You know how Floss, if you've been to a battle, Floss uh, behind somebody, you know that nigga's the crowd. Like, you know what I mean? So with them, with the Philly crowd, you know, I mean, it's going to be our, uh, against Drake Dennis. You know, from the rip being biased, you know, Floss, you know what I mean, had Dre Dennis, you know what I mean, on his punches, making sure he was getting the right crowd reactions, you know what I mean? So that shit was fire. Dre Dennis came out in his first round, did his thing, did everything I expected him to do, got through his round clean, had some haymakers in there, performance, cadence, all that shit. Um, Cicero comes out in his first round and chokes after four bars, yo. Four bars. He goes four bars in. And chokes horribly, like hard raw bully, like he didn't get it back. And I think we was on watching him. We was watching him for like maybe two, three minutes, trying to get through his first round. Um, 
this is definitely body of the night. Hands down, no questions asked. Um, Dre Dennis got <laughs> seeing blood in the water. Like, good lord. Dre Dennis starts the second round and says something like, this is why Philly don't fuck with you, or this is why we don't fuck with you. This is, you know what I mean? This is why, right? And he cooks him in the second round. Cooks him. Um, dude, the walls were shaking. Niggas was banging on the walls and shit. Like, yo, that shit was, yo, he cooks him in the second round. Like, it's over. A niggas screaming in, throw in a towel. Like, from the Rocky movie, just throw in the goddamn towel. <laughs> yo. Dre Dennis was fucking Cicero up in that second round. It was bad, bro. His corner should have thrown the towel, nigga. Like, that shit was got bad in the second round. No, I don't have any bars. I won't have to download the VOD. But it got ugly in the second round. It got ugly in the first. And the second round was just a, a continuation of the first round. It got bad. So Cicero, like, all right. Cicero, you know, do your thing. Cicero, instead of going to his second round... He tries to start where he left off at in his first round. So he starts off where he choked at in his first round and his second round. Everybody's like, yo, what the fuck? Why is he like, why is, why he just didn't go to his second round? I don't know. Maybe he wanted to give Stiz his money worth or whatever, but that shit was crazy. Going to going to his uh starting his second round where he choked at in the first round. So what he was gonna rap his whole first round. And then just keep rapping into his second round. Like, oh, what the fuck is going on, right? So, then he didn't even get... I don't think he got through it to clean that round. I think he chokes that round. He still didn't get through that shit, I think. Dre Dennis comes out in his third. He had a um, little stumble in there, but he got it back. Like, he had a little stumble, almost a choke. Like, right when I was about to say he choked, he got it back. You know what I mean? But that was from the crowd. Like, I'm telling you, that crowd was hostile in it. Um... Good and bad. Like, the crowd reactions was crazy. So, I think the crowd reaction got Dre Dennis for a second. But Dre Dennis is a professional. He got that shit back. He knew. He was like, he was getting it. He was getting it. He's getting it. And then he got that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he a professional, man. He definitely got that shit back in the third and finished his third round strong. Three, uh, Cicero did get through his third round, I believe. But it was too little, too late by then. He died. Like, he died in the first and second. Um, And then... uh. Uh, somebody in the crowd was like, fight back. And then somebody else was like, how you gonna fight back when the nigga already dead? <laughs> Yo, no, that was battle of the night, man. And that was definitely, um, no, nah, it was body of the night, I should say. Performance of the night from Dre Dennis, man. Even with his stumble, I gave him performance of the night. Um, but yeah, the overall event was great, man. Uh, make sure y'all go cop that VOD on Rap Grid, I believe. Um, you know what I mean? Battle Rap Academy, thank you for having me out. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to the Loud Boys, they was in the building. Shout out to uh, Floss and um, uh, Bill Collector, especially, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man, it was a great event, man. Shout out to Stiz, man. Battle Rap Academy, they put on a great, great, great event yesterday, man. Um, it had that feel to it, you know what I mean? It had that tunnel feel to it, you know what I mean? That New York tunnel feel. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? It had that, it was it was like, you know what I mean? It had that rocky feel to it, you know what I mean? We was in Philly, had that, you know what I mean? Pull up to the corner, you know what I mean? It was abandoned warehouses, and it felt like you was walking into a, like a, a bare knuckle brawl, like, you know what I mean? But it was a battle rap, that shit was fire, bro. Keep doing what y'all doing over there, salute to y'all. You know, the autopsy report clothing lines are coming real soon. I'm working on getting the website up for that. Um, so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, man, I love y'all. I do it for y'all. This is for the culture, man. And nigga, don't get put in that bag, Cicero. Good lord. In fact, yo, Cicero, you're in the bag. Yo, if I rewatch it, I don't have to rewatch Dre Dennis and Cicero shit, yo. Cicero, you just got put in the bag. Bag, nigga, you need to stop battle rapping for real, my nigga. I don't know what's going on, but yo, you need to rap for free, nigga. Nobody needs to be paying you for that shit, for real. You, I, I don't know, but yeah, nigga, you in the bag, my nigga. Mate.